Hey YouTube, this is Sergeant Blockbuster, and today is 1.8. It's insane. There is such an amount of stuff that this might even be a two-parter and a three-parter or something. It's insane. Well, let's just get right into it. First off, they changed F3 coordinates. It says XYZ, as you can see in the left corner. And then instead of having XYZ vertical, now they're horizontal. And you can see the plus is all fancy. It's telling you where X, Y, and Z is. It's pretty insane. And there's a giant force field over here, if you didn't notice. That's the world border. You can change this by the world border command. I set it to be um, 183 from the center of the planet. And I set the center of the planet for the world border to coordinates. That's how you do it. That's how the commands I just showed you. Now let's get on to the more crazy stuff. This here is granite. You can make it by getting diorite and nether quartz and crafting them. Let me craft them for you. So you see, you take diorite and that and granite. That's how you get granite. And to get polished granite, as you can see here, you take four granite and go like this, like that. I'm sorry if I mispronounce anything. And it's, I gotta be kind of fast because we got a lot of stuff to go through. And this here is diorite. To get it, you make cobblestone and nether quartz in this formation. I'm pretty sure you can find um, the granite and stuff and this stuff and destite spawning naturally because I found some earlier when I was in a different world. That's how you make it. It gets two right there. Okay, to make it polished, it's the same as polishing that one. And this is andestite. This is how you make it. Diorite and cobblestone. Put diorite and cobblestone like that. Makes andestite. And to polish it, you just do the same as the other two. Now there's coarse dirt. The world has become that much more noobier. For all those noobs who love making their houses out of dirt and hate grass growing on them, we give you coarse dirt. Yes. Dirt and gravel makes coarse dirt. You just put it in that formation that you saw in the chest. I'm just crafting it to show you. This is all 1.8. No mods. I'm on a single player world right now. Next is sponge. You can get sponge by killing a guardian, which I'm going to show you later. And if you have, like, a flooded basement or something, and you want to clean it up, bam. You just put that sponge in and it absorbs the water. Back in the day, they used to be able to do this, but now they brought it back after erasing it. Made sponge not look like cheese. You can't use sponge as cheese anymore. Guys, it looks like sponge. And a wet sponge, you can cook in a furnace and get dry sponge. While that's cooking... Let me get some coal. As you can see, it drips water as if there's water above it. So it's really cool how they did that. It's like, it's so wet that it, the water's dripping out. As you can see, it made sponge and you could reuse it. Okay, now we got prismarine. Prismarine, you take prismarine shards like this. And... Craft prismarine, just prismarine, block prismarine. I guess it's like a resource block. Prismarine bricks. It's You take the prismarine shards, and you just fill up the crafting table, makes prismarine bricks. Over here, we have dark prismarine. Take prismarine and a black ink sack. Go on a crafting table. And there we have Dark Prismarine. These can be found in um, the uh, underwater temples that they added. I can't find one because it's a flat world, of course. But I might show you it later if I can find one in a different world. Here we have Sea Lanterns. They're like Glowstone, except they look boss. Way more boss than Glowstone. Are you sick of primitive Glowstone? And are you tired of using Redstone Lamps? Well, here we have Prism... Wait... No, sea lantern, sea lantern, sorry. 
Sorry if I miss anything or do anything incorrectly. There's a whole heap of stuff to do. We got red sandstone, chiseled red sandstone. As you can see, instead of having a creeper face, it has a wither. Smooth red sandstone, sandstone stair, sandstone slab. You can make it the same way you make any other sandstone with normal sand. Here we have banners. What we've all been waiting for. We can make custom banners without having to worry about all the details and you can basically just throw anything together there's the combination is endless actually ends right over there that's going to be a different video i'm going to show you guys how to craft every pattern and banners it's crazy here's how you craft a banner take wool and stick same way you would with a sign except replace the wood planks with wool makes a white banner Banners can be placed on the wall, on the ground, or even make it look like a towel or something, like half in the ground. You can make any type of combination you want. Let me just throw something together here. There's billions of combinations you can make, man. So many. Look at this. This is insane. This is completely crazy. How is this even possible? I do not have a clue but you can make thousands and thousands of combinations and colors look at this banner I just created it's completely random and awesome but yeah now we have armor stands no more item frames no more pretending you have closets cuz we have the stands you could put heads on them you could even put player heads I'm pretty sure and you even got any armor you could put on it it's amazing I'll show you how to craft that right now to craft a stand you take a stone slab sticks and I failed wait wait I think it's like this BAM I just got that from memory armor stand that's how you make it you hang heads and armor on it it's beautiful I just love that it's so awesome okay next we have the killer bunny new boss mob in minecraft super rare let me summon one here's the killer bunny I meant to do that in the hole let me shove the killer bunny in the hole as you see I just spawned it the name tag comes with it when you go into survival and jump in the hole it does nothing oh because I'm on Peace Bowl sorry about that um peaceful easy I think cuz I have it on easy it killed me slower but usually kills me in two whacks pretty boss oh there's all my crap down there all right we have normal rabbits now as you can see there's many different types of normal rabbits even baby rabbits you can find them spawned in the wild they're boss they're super 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 boss because you can do so many stuff with a rabbit I'm about to show you later on the tame one you take carrots and then they will love you it's a stampede! Okay. Take the carrots. I don't want them anymore. Alright, now we've got the guardian. Listen to the noise they make. They're crazy. They're creepy as crap. Their eyeballs follow you. They have flipping tails. And they can survive above water for God knows how long. But seriously, I left them above water for a long time. They just... I'm gonna drown this killer bunny. Let's spawn one in here. Not much room. Whatever. They're a boss. They can kill you so fast. They use like tractor beams. Let me show you. Look, they're tractor beaming me somehow. It's creepy. They kill me if I do that. I'm gonna go back into survival because I don't want to die. Next, 
we have fences and fence gates. You can craft fences and fence gates out of any wood, and it will come up the wood you craft it out of. You The same crafting recipe as normal fence and normal um, fence gate, but you use whatever wood you want to. Like for dark oak wood fence, you use dark oak wood, etc. Next, no more wooden toilet seats. We have actual toilet seats. I like to call them toilet seats, but they're iron trap doors. But seriously, they make darn good toilet seats. Bye-bye wooden toilet seats getting splinters and all. We got iron. Thank goodness. Because it's going to kill me to have another wooden toilet seat. Iron trap door, that's how you make it. Now, same as the fences and stuff. You got different doors in Minecraft. You take the different type of wood that you need to craft the doors out of, and you can make all these different doors. I think this one here is my new favorite. I don't know. But they're still all boss. It's awesome. You can now stack any type of door. That's right. No more having individual doors cluttering your chest because you can stack them. Now, anyone who had a world before this update... It's going to be like having unstacked doors and people are going to be like, man, you crazy noob. But now we know that they updated it. It never always used to be like this or whatever. Now we have rabbit hide. When you kill a rabbit, you can get rabbit hide. Take it and you could craft normal leather that you get from cows. So if there's no cows in the region, only rabbits, that's how you can get leather. Okay, come on. Yes, there we go. Sorry about that little troubleshooting look at this madness they t now take crops and replant them villagers just became way more realistic let me see as you can see just now they plant the seeds at random as you can see they're planting them at random but it is amazing every time they grow they break it and they plant seeds how amazing is that one thought it would be epic Minecraft notch people if you can make it so you could take the The stuff they harvest from them You know like they have an inventory of stuff they harvest. I don't know. It's just a thought It'd be awesome They don't mine melon Watermelon and pumpkin for some reason. They just mine every other crop Okay, what else what else there's so much to do Okay, we did that I was gonna go wait Oh, I passed it up. Sorry about that. I was going to go to end to do this, but... There's now Endermites. Endermites are creepy looking. In one of the snapshots, I heard they look like silverfish, but now they just look like little Enderman doo-doos running around. Okay. They get spawned when you teleport by Ender Pearl or an Enderman teleport. They're pretty weird. I'm not sure if they hurt you. I'm pretty sure they do. Over here, we have cooked rabbit and raw rabbit. To get raw rabbit, you kill a rabbit. Get cooked rabbit, cook the raw rabbit meat in the furnace. We got mushroom stew now. I mean, no, not mushroom stew. I, what I meant to say is forget mushroom stew. For those people who are allergic to mushrooms, we now have rabbit stew. Yes. You can now kill your pet rabbit and cook it and eat it in a stew. Now, how boss is that? Take cooked rabbit, baked potato, carrots, mushrooms, and a bowl to make rabbit stew. How awesome is that? Goodbye, mushroom stew. I'm going to be having rabbit stew from now on. We have raw mutton and cooked mutton. I'm never going to eat this in Minecraft because in real life, it's um, I believe it's a sheep stomach full of sheep organs. It's really nasty, so I'm not going to eat that. But to get this, you kill a sheep, and sometimes they'll drop this. They don't only drop wool anymore, they now drop meat as well. 